Adventures with Luna Dog here. We are at the Tulum Ruins in Mexico and we're in the information center where they also have little vendors and a restaurant over there with a, if you buy something at the restaurant, which I did, have some breakfast, they will uh, put your stuff in a, a locker for you, which I had a bunch of stuff, so I didn't want to carry it around. So that's what I did. And then I just hired my own private guide. I probably paid a little too much, but I mean, I, I don't know. He said 40, I said 30. And that includes the bus transportation to the ruins from here because it's like a 10 minute walk and um, includes the entrance to the park which is four dollars the park I say the ruins I mean the ruins and um, the transportation there I think is maybe about a dollar or something so uh, I'm giving them $25 for a private 45 minute tour I'm, I'm okay with that and uh, Tell the people your name. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Pablo. Pablo. Ikaba in my own language. Ikaba, my name, Pablo. Pablo, okay. Yeah. And he's going to give us the, he's going to give me the tour, or us, yeah. I should say. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. You want to learn how do you say good morning in my own language? Yes. Okay, all right. Malok in. Malok means good, and the in is the sun. Ah. All right. Malok in to lack lace. Good morning, everybody. Oh, thank you. And this is what we're getting on, t so we don't walk the 10 minutes down the road, which I was gonna do, but hey, this will save a little time. This is a big wall. Was made for the Mayan people, okay? And was uh, uh, made the construction to come protect the people living inside. And the people living inside was the loyalty, okay? The most rich people, the most important living there inside, okay? This wall had six different entrances, but this one was used only for the loyalty to come go directly to the. Uh, to the area when, when you see the houses, okay? Uh, and we uh, go to the entrance. Okay. I show you one map. Okay, but this is the only entrance for the royalty. Okay. Yes. Okay. So one of the benefits of having Pablo is you don't have to stand in this line to buy the tickets. We just get a little stamp at the um, entrance uh, if you have a t tour. And he is licensed. You are licensed because you have that. Yeah, so. So he's, you just get a stamp and you can avoid the line. So that's nice. All right. Okay. This way we follow is uh, we're going directly to come across the wall. But first, I want to show you something interesting. Look, right here to the left side, you can see part uh, mangrove. You can see the mangrove there. 
Come here, it's much better here. Okay? Look, we can see it's a really difficult place to come across because when we have the rainy season, the tide is up. And that is one area really great because you can uh, make an uh, attack to the city. You need to cross first this area and then later you can see a big wall in the front. That's oh. everything is to come protect the loyalty inside. Okay? And oh. look, in the way we can see different uh, trees. Like oh, yeah. This one. It's an interesting tree. The name is La Ceiba. This is much better. Look. It's biggest, but look. It's really nice. In Mayan language, the name is Jash. Che. Say Jash. Again. Che. Jash significates green color, and the Che significates tree. It's a green tree. Okay, Jash Che. Oh, la ceiba, the ceiba in Spanish. Okay, <laughs> and then look, all right, the other one is, is there. But look, I wanna uh, show you something. That tree represents the sacred tree, the Mayan culture. It's the tree of the life, all right? The Mayans believe in three levels of life, all right? And the branch represents the supra world, all right? The spiritual life. The trunk, okay, represents the life we have in the actuality, okay? Mm -hmm. And the roots represent the silvalva, the underground, uh, right? The Mayan, the silvalva is the, the underworld, ah. okay? The Mayans believe when you're dead, no, it's the final. You have the chance to can take knowledge, sabidry in the silvalva, all right, with the gods, and you have uh, the blessing to can take the reincarnation. Okay. I have a question for you. Sometimes you happen the famous Deja vu. Mm -hmm. When you do something, you say, oh my God, I, I do that. Because of another life you lived. Exactly. It's possible you have memories of your past life. Yeah, I've heard that. Know. I've heard that theory, yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's theories, exactly. But look, this uh, tree that represents the three levels of life to the Mayan culture, the sacred tree. All right. Mm -hmm. But look, inside is uh, is whole, it's holding in that. When I uh, speak it, you can hear it's empty. Okay, just press attention. You can hear? Yeah. It's holding. You can hear it empty inside. Interesting. Right? We can see it's, it's almost empty. We can uh, find only the, the foundations, you know, when was do with houses, when leaving the, the people working to the elite inside, okay? I can show you the difference one house to the uh, people working to the elite and the houses to the directly to the elite. Okay, and look, that way we have, uh, we can see other entrance in this wall. Uh -huh. Okay, and that we're going to use it to the north side, right? Use it roots in the ocean to can go into the other cities. The Mayans people living in five countries in this area, okay? Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and part of El Salvador, okay? Mm -hmm. And use it uh, roots in the ocean, in the Caribbean ocean, to can go in, uh, to can come in right here in Tulum because was the most important seaport too. Tulum is the most exactly. important seaport, seaport a thousand years ago. One map, okay? But look, the Mayans you said uh, made paths. They made the this path? Uh -huh. That's, this, is, this is not original. I show you one original when we oh, go outside. Oh, it's not right? the original. Okay. This is one uh, representation uh -huh. about one sac bay. Sac means white, bay, paths. Mm -hmm. It's the white paths that signifies sac bay. But look, thousand years ago, not only in this area, in the old planet, we don't have electricity, you know? Mm -hmm. And how the Mayans use it, the moon, right? Look, the Mayans take the shell, the conch from the ocean, mm -hmm. crashing, and they cover at this path, okay? Mm -hmm. With the light of the moon, it's really easy to follow the waves because with the light of the moon, it's shining. Mm -hmm. This is uh, when coming the name, Sac Bay, White Paths, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, going. The Mayans running too much uh, kilometers too. And uh, you know, if you're running in this weather, you sweat too much and that uh, you need to drink too much water. This is the reason the Mayans going in the nights. You can mm -hmm. use it better your energy and that you can run in more kilometers. Yes. And they have one technique. A technique. You speak Mayan language, everybody speaks Mayan language, but you don't know. Chicle, chocolate, is a Mayan discovery. Ah. Uh. All right. Inclusive cash, money. In Mayan language, cash means chicken. Huh. All right, you know, that's the, the word. But what is the significance about chicle? Chi means mouth, cle is the movement. When you make the movement in your mouth, 
your mouth product salad, uh -huh. and then you don't need to drink water. Like ah. the baseball player, like the boxing, you know? Okay, and that is the, the reason running too much kilometers. All ah, right? okay. Now, chocolate. Chocolate is a, it's a modern word too, and I was used like money, you know? Cacao seed, and inclusive. The cacao was used in the commerce like money. If you have cacao, you can buy wherever you want. Wow. And what is the significance? Choco means hot, latte is the beverage. It's uh -huh. a hot beverage, the significance. So the roots that we have exactly. in the US for those words come from Mayan, yeah? the Mayan culture. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. It's words coming from the Mayan culture. And uh, you know, I show you uh, in the outside one tree, the Chico Zapote tree. You can see the, uh, the scars in the tree. When the Mayans pick up, recollect the gum, you can use it to different uh, purposes, motives, right? Different, uh -huh. uh, like in the stucco, to can clean the mouth, you know? Yeah. Take the rest when uh, make the uh, fire, you know, the, like, the, like the chalk, uh -huh. you know? And with a little bone chicle, make the movement in the mouth, and mm -hmm. you, you're cleaning your mouth. You know? Interesting. Exactly. And you said, uh, how the Mayans unit the stones? The Mayans born in the Caliza stone, make big mountains. Uh, wood, caliza stone, and uh, when the stone is really, really hot, make explosion, mm -hmm. and then you have a dust, like the chalk. The Mayans take other ingredients, the chicle is one, all right? Make the mix it, and then you have the cement, you can unit the stones. Ah, you know? the cement, uh -huh. Yes, exactly, okay. look. I show you one map, and uh, we are exactly in the north side, okay? Okay? So we are exactly here now. Exactly here now. The, the tower is, the watchtower is there in the front. We can see when we stay inside, okay? Uh -huh. And then look, that is the different entrance. We use this entrance, okay? To can see uh, a little bit more, all right? And then look, this, uh, to this point to the north side, at the south, we have 400 meters. And this point to the west, we have 200 meters. That is the wall was made for the Mayans to can protect the Mayan elite. Mm -hmm. You see the uh, the red buildings here. That is was used only for the loyalty. And look the difference. The small houses here in this area. Okay, that was do only with wood. Cheat is the name. Is the palm, right? Paid uh, put one uh, wood one by one and then make the walls. Mm -hmm. And the the uh, the roof was do with palm. Okay, that is the difference. In this area was uh, offered the product. You know, honeybee, salt fish, skin animals, textiles, and uh, natural minerals, mm -hmm. obsidian, jade, quartz, all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we go in directly. But look, right here in the front, that's represent is uh, the reef, okay? And uh, look this gut. This is really important. Is the honeybee gut, a musen cup gut in Mayan language, okay? But in this part from the city- The honeybee gut. Have, uh -huh, mm -hmm. Honeybee gut. We have part of the second largest reef in the world. The name is Banco Chinchorro, and they have 1,200 kilometers. It's the second biggest, okay? And the Mayans use it, the reef is a natural barrier, mm -hmm. and the West use it uh, to protect the city too. Mm -hmm. Because the Mayans, exactly from the city, cut one part in the reef uh, to come cross with the canots, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, we have only one entrance, it's the, it's the unique, and I show you. The rest, you can see, is highest. It's a big race, all right? Mm -hmm. The perfect area to can protect to the Mayan people, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's go now inside. Okay. All right. Just uh, let's do something. In this entrance, is uh, not everybody going that way, but just take the video to the entrance. Look, just press attention in the stones. How about this? Right? Just, just take the video. For that reason, protection. And maybe you know that every Maya were that is our remodelation. This is an original? No, this no, is not, this is oh, this is not an original no, path. No, this is what's due to can, uh, use it to the entrance, all right? But everything inside, everything is original, all right? Okay, once that's, we get inside the square. Yeah, that was only one remodelation. You can use it in that. We're going to see one entrance more. And then look, this entrance is really small because if you want to go, you need pass one by one, knowing big groups. And then you have the chance to protect the elite inside, all right? And then you can see right here in the front, we're going to see the ocean. You can see the waves, if we find the, the reef, okay? And you can see everything is here. Look, 
This is the wall. Alright. You fine? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Look, we are from the from the ocean. This is the Caribbean Sea. Okay. Look, it's really beautiful. That way in this area we have one temple. The name is Shaman Temple. Shaman was the second port, uh, people most important after governor. Okay, mm -hmm. because it's the people with the knowledge, with the sabbatry, and that we can see this temple only in the ocean, in the boats. Okay. Oh, okay, so you have to see this little temple right here from the out, yeah, from out in the. Exactly, but we can. But see that mound right there is a temple. Is exactly when you see the stones that way. Oh, all right, in this oh area. over there, way exactly. over there. Over there. Way over there. The Shaman Temple that way. And yeah. is it ruins like this that people go see? Yeah, if, uh, now it's closed the port, but, but when it's uh, open, everybody take uh, the tour to can go into swimming in the reef, and uh, you can have the, the view to the, the city front, you know, in the ocean. And the Mayan short people. Mayan okay? people are short. Yes, yeah, short people. <laughs> so. Okay, follow me. Watch your head, okay? <laughs> Look, have the desviation three grades to can make this arch. This is the false arch. But in the top, look the biggest stone to can support the echoing. You can make this art, okay? Look, you can take, this is the house, the cenote house, okay? I show you one cenote, it's downstairs, but you can come here, you can stay in the top, really colorful. You can take a beautiful view from the right? Six meters Six is the meters. wall. Yes. How tall is that? In, how many feet is that? In, in feet? Yeah. Uh, six meters. I'm not really... It's three feet for one meter, okay. right? Okay, so about yeah. 18 feet. Uh-huh. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Fifteen feet, approach. Okay. Then cross, yes? Yeah? And a look. You know, the history say 65 million, 67 million ago, one meteorito impact in the peninsula of Yucatan. What 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 impacted? What, one meteorito, you know? One one comet, big comet. Oh a comet. Exactly. One comet, big comet impact in the peninsula of Yucatan in the ocean. Alright? That's a uh, all this area of the peninsula of Yucatan is a big platform. It's Caliza stone. With the impact of the comet, alright, make riots in the platform. And uh, with the, the all these years, the thousand years of, uh, uh, ago, we have raining. And the old raining is crossed the Caliza stone filtered, you know, and we have a big house on the ground. That is the cenotes. We have around 10,000 cenotes in this area, in the peninsula of Yucatan, and the old cenotes have connection, each one by each one. And cenotes are like round sinkholes. Sinkhole, exactly. And the water exactly. goes to underground, and it's nice and clean and pure exactly. from the rain, and right? Pure, yes, because filtered. Look at this. Yeah, <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go to see one cenote. Okay, it's inside the city. And the Mayas, 1,200 years ago, coming in this cenote to pick up fresh water. And uh, you can drink in this water. And uh, you, you can find other uh, place where you can take fresh water in the area. And you know, it's really close from the ocean. And uh, we have one inlet, it's one mile from here. And uh, there you can see one mouth, it's inside the ocean. And uh, I'm going to swim in there and uh, you feel how the fresh water is born to the stone. Because on the final, the all raining we have in this area is come back to the ocean, all right? And uh, look, this is the, the mouth we have right here. This is the cenote. In this moment it's dirty, okay? Now it's really clean because nobody uses it. The cenotes 
was the entrance to the un underworld. To Silvalba, exactly. You can go to the underworld. All right. In the look, you can see in the back. That way is when you can find the grayets. And that's going. What's that? What gray? What? It's exactly to the left side. To the left side. Is that way is the grayets? What does right? grayets mean? Exactly there. All right. You can see. This is this in that area. All right. And that this going is have connection on the ground with other cenotes. Okay. Right? The port is closed today because if you if you have the chance in the, if you want we can go in to see this this mouth in the in the inlet. Uh huh. Uh huh. But it's closed the port today. It's a watchtower. The old time we have Mayans. Uh, we can have the vigilance around the city. And exactly 400 meters from the south side, we go in and the final there to this uh, exit. We can find other watch uh, tower like this one. Okay. Watchtower. Stay in each corner, north to the south. Right. And the look, this area is almost empty. I, uh, you see only the, the foundations, you know, on in the, in the town. And there, the Mayans take this palm. The name is the chip. This wood, this palm, all right? And the one by one, make the walls, okay? And there is the places when living, the people work into the alley. And this area was uh, do a little houses. When the Mayans coming, we've got to see the, the entrance from the, the altar. Okay, when the Mayans cross the river in the state right here, this is the unique entrance from the ocean. Come in, in this area and they put the product you can offer, you know? And the right here is make the eater can, the famous trekker. If you want, I don't know, one skin animal and uh, you have uh, cacao, you can buy with this. But if you want... And cacao is chocolate. Choco cacao is the chocolate, okay? The uh, cacao is the seed, okay? We need to make a process. And so you is, could use the cacao seed to buy things. Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah, the cacao. What's, what's the money? Cacao. Yeah. Is when we have the reef. Okay. That is the other barrier. Okay. Yeah, like boats couldn't get across that reef, huh? Exactly. And look, right here. It's really high. Here. We're going later there. Okay. Pretty. Exactly. Oh, you see my, you cross the reef, you come in directly in this area, and we're staying in, in the top, you can see, that is a unique entrance from the, from the ocean. Is this the beach that's closed? Uh, yes, it's closed. It's all grassy anyway, so, because of the, the wind, huh? Yeah. The, Mayan culture, the right? what? The aliens, you know? Yes, you I, will, I, I actually believe in ancient yeah, the aliens. People say, the aliens come in, uh, and in help the peak them. of the old Mayans. That is, is you don't like it, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right. What happened? We are around uh, 5 million Mayan people in the area, and everybody is in Mayan language. All right. And look what happened. In 1500, when the Spanish people come in, in this area, you know, pass from the Caribbean Ocean in the sea to home city but what's impossible to cross because the Spanish coming in big ships and when trying to cross the reef the boat the ship crashing there yeah all right and the Mayans take uh, uh the people all right and uh, make working to the Mayans mm -hmm. all right and to whom we have only uh, information uh, is coming from uh, Fray Diego de Landa was one prize okay coming in the boat and that he uh, make the uh, the the restriction, the information say we cross in the sea, one beautiful beach, uh, city, but what's impossible to do is go crash there and that we follow the route, but we uh, go in, we turn around and uh, go into the other side in the Pacific Ocean uh, and, uh, and start the conquest in the peninsula in the in, in the Chichen Itza area, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so look, and the young Stephen coming uh, to find Chichen Itza in the air. History information about the one beautiful city from the Caribbean Ocean, and that we uh, come in and uh, make a question to the native peoples, the Mayans, the oldest Mayas, and they find Tulum in 1842. In, one, in 1842? 1842. They didn't find Tulum until 1842. Uh, John Stephens and uh, uh, David Craterwood, that's archaeologists from USA. Yes, find Chichen Itza, find Tulum. In the Kobatu, the all uh, this route was fine for these archaeologists. Okay, 
And this is, was the first CDC for the Spanish, but was the last in fine in the in three, three years. 300 years. Okay? And look, this house we have in the front was the house when lived the governor, the most important people living in this house. Okay? And remember, the, the, the royal the king Mayan, and queen. Exactly. The, uh, the Mayan culture done a uh, construction, a big emperor. Was each city was a state and had the personal governor each city. This is the reason the Mayans have uh, enemies and uh, was the same Mayans living around because everybody wants the best, the better. And uh, sometimes when make attacks, it's coming for, for the, the same Mayan people, but they had the to protect this land by the ocean. Exactly. Yes. And look, let's go right here because I'm talking about the astronomy now. Okay. The Maya was a great astronomy people and the follow the okay. different seasons we have uh, for you. Yeah. Unique was the name of the governor. Okay. And the way we cross in the other side, you can see one uh, figure like I showed you in the map. Is the descendant god, the Amusen cup, the honeybee god. Honeybee right? god, okay. That represents the abundance. In the... You know Chichen Itza? Yes. Well, I, All right. I haven't been there yet, but yeah. Okay. So, Joe, so you, you know the, the principal temple, right? In the principal temple, this, uh, this temple has uh, 30 meters, okay? And the has 40. I'll show you one picture. Okay. Just let me try. Look this one. You show me something on his phone. Okay. Look. This picture, you can see, this is the Kukulkan Temple in Chichen Itza. All right? And that we can see one astronomic event right here. This temple has 91 steps for each side, all right? Uh -huh. And if you make the multiplication four by 91, you have 364. But the last step right here in the top is one more. And that we have right here, 365 is the total days we have for year. And the each each side represents one cardinal point and one season in the year. 91 days exactly. Each 21st March, the Mayans uh, can represent the uh, astronomic events here. The equinox. You know what is, what is the equinox? Is when we have the same time day. And the same time now, all right. Mm -hmm. And that this event happened for, uh, two times for year. 21st March is the most famous, all right. It start the spring, but 23 September it start the fall. And that we have exactly the same event. You know, you can see the body of snake in the wall of the Kukulkan Temple that represents we start the spring and the fall, all right. But look, in this temple right here. You see this, the god there, the Amusen Cup god, okay? That's the image we have exactly here. You can see the top? Mm -hmm. It's the same, the same man. It's come yeah. upside down, all right? But in this temple, we have solstice, uh, all right? The solstice is each 21st June and the each 21st December, okay? Oh. What happened here? In the back, we're going, you can see, we have a, a small window, like this side, okay? Each 21st June, when the sun is born in the, in the west side, okay? Start go to the top. This day, make the alignation exactly in this window in the back, and you can see the sun inside the temple. You know, Beautiful, that yeah. is the alignation we have. Beautiful. This is a star mark. This don't, don't care in the show, no worry, take your time, and uh, we, have, we have a couple minutes. Just relax, you okay? And then we're starting again. When did it, they stop allowing people up there? Yeah, look, this is other small wall around these two principal temples because inside only stay the loyalty, okay? Because each 52 years, the Mayans make big ceremonies here. The Mayans consider each 52 years, we have a new era, a new season, and that we close this era and that start a new one. And the, each 52 years, the old town from Tulum, from Sama city, Sama was the name, Sama significate tomorrow. Okay, coming inside, and the governor and the shaman stay there in the top, and they start bringing you information about the religion, okay. about the astronomic events. Right? What's this right here? Right there, this this is the columns house. You see, the, the reason is for the columns we have exactly right here in the front, like uh -huh. the columns we have there. But there, 
This is, you know, Hong Kong case. Look, this is a common house up here, okay? And who stayed in these houses? Uh, that is, is possible leaving the uh, the rest of the family. We don't have the exact information, but it was one really other uh, family members house because we see everything is a stone, okay? And uh, here we're going now, but just let me bring you the information about this one. In the top, you can see of the column from here. Look there, the, the stones you see in the top form the rattle snake. Okay. From the rattle. The rattle. The rattle snake in the top. The stone you see. Very, in the very, top. very top. When finish the column, okay. When yeah, the snake here, heads over on the left exactly. side. Exactly. In in the in down the the column represents the body, and down you can see a big uh, a stone, and that there is the a snake head. You know, like here. Look. And the Mayans put colors in the temples. You said four different colors: blue, red, yellow, and the green. Okay. And are we going? So this is what it really looked like. Yes. That is uh, the temple we have right here in the front, something similar. It's been very pretty. Yes, that is, is what we're going to see. This one is exactly this. It's the frescoes of the painting temple. This one we have right here. Yeah, it's, it, it's this way. Okay, come here. And then you can see two big masks, two faces in the corners. Okay, south mm -hmm. and the north side. Mm -hmm. Who is Itzamna? It's the mask we find here. Itzamna is the creator. Is the second god most important after uh, Kukultan. The creator, Itzamna, is the creator to the universe, all right? And it represents the duality, represents the life, the death, the light, the darkness, you know? It's a perfect balance and that we find here. And in this temple, we have one, one history about how the Amusen Kat God, the Honibi God, born. Who is the father of this God? Represent the abundance. We've, we see in this temple, Ixchel, descendant god, and the Chak. Chak is the god of the rain. Okay? okay. Exactly here. Pay attention. You see the mask, the face here, the mouth, the nose, the eye. Yeah. And, uh, this part of the face. And it's still and some, is that, is that some of the original color? It's original color. That's it's crazy. Like a, it's red color. And, and the these tomb, are a thousand years old. Yes, we ha we're talking, uh, the most, all the temples inside is the is coming from 800 years uh, BC. Uh, but so I'm going to float down the Mule River, that ancient canal. That They said that's uh, made with, by the Mayans thousand years ago. Yes, look, we have one, one date in this stella. This is one stone. And the information we have there, because the Mayans uh, used numbers, I show you the numbers, uh -huh. okay? And we have find one, uh, look, like here, dots and bars. It's one day here, it's 562 years before Christ. It's the information we have in this stella. Okay. The rest with glyphos, we don't have exactly what talking, but we, the archaeologists, the experts, uh -huh. find this day uh -huh. in this stella. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. We can see the other face exactly during the form. Okay. But come here, you can show me. Okay. Come here. And here you can you can see the information. Look. It's this temple we have here. Okay, look. Alright. You can see the face exactly there. Oh, south this one is this one? Is this temple? Not exactly. that one over there. No, 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 no. Oh. It's look. And the other face is exactly there. The ace is different. One is open and the other one is closed. That represent the light, the darkness. Okay, but look, in the top, we start right here in this part. Look, this this part, you can see the the red hands there. Yeah. The red hands was put for the ladies from the. Uh, the reptiles. Loyalty. The red hands. Oh, the, the red hands. You see, the hands. Oh, the hands. Yes, yes, the hands. Oh yeah, the red hands. Exactly, the red hands. That's a uh, mark was put for the ladies coming from the alley. You know. From the who? When uh, from the alley. Right. The elite. If you, if you, uh, if you, your father and your mother is the, the the kings. You know when you, if you are girl, when you have your first periodic, signifies something. You are ready to can be mother, and that you are, you can take the preparation. Oh, uh, is that is that supposed to signify the red blood of the motherhood? Yes, but no, it's blood. It's a pigment. 
like the color we have right here. But no, it's blood. But it's supposed to signify exactly being able to that, have babies. Exactly, exactly. That is the uh, the mark, okay? And uh, you you can take the preparation, and that uh, you can take the next generation. In the power. This is a stone uh, for t to tell the it's date. One is stella. Yes, it's, it tells it's, the date. Yes, it's, it's like this one, okay? But it's really really oldest. And that we can see the the glyph is exactly you know it's, it's really really old uh -huh. and uh, the stone with the time is lost the inscription because if you can see only this part you can see the line uh -huh. right you can so see in the cenote in the cave the cenote you said glyphs they had glyphs in there and the cenote in, in some in some ones yes. but not no, in that no, one no, okay no, in this one right. in, in others one in, in yucatan find inclusive pottery you know pottery and then uh, find yeah. different gods because uh -huh. the man was a polytheist it's, uh, people okay. have many different gods. Okay. How the descendant got born? The descendant god is in the middle, okay? But look, exactly here, this one is Ixchel. Ixchel is the god of Ixchel. the fertility. Okay? Represent the uh, the woman, all right? Uh -huh. the, everything the, the woman do and the fertility. is a first one there. You can first see one. the, the yeah. stones in the front. Is the knees. Stay in this position, you know? Uh -huh. like this. Is start the born baby. Uh -huh. Okay, and the look, that line in the middle uh -huh. represents the umbilical cord. Ah. But we do a stop exactly there. You can see the baby. Uh huh. Is come upside down. Uh huh. Is the baby's born, and the look, the hands of have something that represents the umbilical cord. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Yes, and the look exactly here in the middle. You see the red and the blue colors, it's uh -huh. original, and this is the the Amus and Cap, the honey bee god. The honey bee god's in the middle? It's, it's in the middle, exactly this one. But and what's the... Do they have a lot of honeybees here then? The honeybee, it's, it's a fusion, you know, the, the old... Uh, it's a, it's a, it can help, uh, it's a medicine. Mm, it it represents the abundance, because you know, the Mayans think the bee is the more oldest answer in the planet. Oh. And uh, it's really important. The but bees. didn't they harvest their honey? Uh, yes. And the honey can be used as like a, dis like a disinfectant, well, like a, in a medicine? Yes, it's medicine. Wait. We, we're going to see a, a honeybee, no, it's like the honeybee, the bees, in one tree outside. I'll show you. That okay. is the medicine. Melly Pond is the name. <laughs> Have we have the white line, but in some part we don't have more. And the side again, you see, this is the area when the Mayans cut the reef. How the Mayans do that? We don't have this information. But the Mayans cut the reef. They cut the reef. Cut the reef exactly. Like six meters, uh, five meters have this entrance, and the there is when when coming the tunnels cross exactly in this area. But in the rest, if you want to cross, it's possible. You go, you ship crashing in the reef. Ah. Okay. So I accidentally had the video off, I think, a second ago, when he was talking about these windows in the structure. Uh, the way the wind come in, comes in through them, like there's a, quite a wind right now, it would make a sh sound, as you imagine, inside there. And the different sounds that it would make, they could detect a hurricane from those different sounds it would make when the wind would come through those window openings. The many hurricanes that have possibly happened along this coastline, and how great you can see how great the structure has been made, has maintained in spite of it. I mean, it'd be a great hurricane, safe house for sure.
the little one over there. Yes, but that's what you said to the entrance, okay? That don't have entrance. The people who have to do the, the steps, okay, the steps, you can use it. But, but this one was the unique entrance, okay? The entrance from the ocean? Yes, the entrance only from the ocean. And that, that way, you can see the, the uh, red roof in the back. Way, way back there. Yeah, I see it. Way back. Right here. Okay, when the sun go inside in the temple and that represent the solstice, you see, it's really small. Teeny, teeny, right up there. Exactly, yeah. the small there. That's just imagine the precision the Mayans have to come. Made this building here, and the 8th, 21st June, 21st December, the sun make the alineation and across exactly this temple in the middle. This is the south wall. This is original. Yeah. This one's taller. So it wasn't taller, it just it got taller in the middle by oxidation? Yeah, that is for the time. No, it's, the color is uh, it's the oxidation in the roof. Oh, the coloring. Yes. Okay. No, no, it's painting. You mean yeah. the sap? It's medicine. Oh, those see? bees come out it's there. The bees, exactly. It's inside of a hole that this product be. This is a uh, black color in that it's really small. But, but we have other one here. Come to see. This is really pacific. Oh, good. Don't have poison. All right. Those and are look. tiny little bees. Yes, it's tiny. And the inside product the honey bee. And the only uh, 400 milligrams or 500 milligrams for year. Appreciate you. This is yes. Pablo, everyone. Yes, I'm Pablo. And remember, the Mayan people never say goodbye. <laughs> we say like Arnold Schwarzenegger, hasta la vista, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>